Ah, the sound of bubbling brooks, the dappled sun, it just feels good to be out in nature. But science backs that feeling up. In fact, the amazing thing about spending a little bit of time out in nature is that nature as a stimuli both decreases negative emotions and increases positive emotions. Other stimuli only usually do one or the other. In nature's case, being out in a world without right angled patterns where we're looking at the natural sort of organic fractal patterns is really relaxing for our brain and our brain is much better equipped for this world. In fact, studies show after a stressful situation like taking a test, stepping away from the right angled architecture of a city and into organic patterns, even looking at pictures of nature is calming for the brain. The other reason why nature is so good for you is we don't have all of the goal oriented distractions that we get when walking through the concrete jungle. We don't have advertisements or decision making about when we're going to cross the street. Instead, we can just let our mind be at peace. We're not thinking of our day to day stressors and research shows that it doesn't take much. Just a few minutes, five minutes every day is much healthier than say a big chunk of time on the weekend. Still, there's a lot to learn when it comes to the science of nature and what that does for our brain. And that's because there's so many good reasons to be outdoors. Better air quality along with all of the increased mood and decreased negative emotions. So science is still trying to pinpoint what exactly is happening in the brain because there's so much good. So whether it's access to the woods, a neighborhood park, or just a downtown tree, there's a lot that nature can do for you. And now you're science smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me an email. I'll try to get it answered.